Putin bad news. Putin takes a risk with public opinion by doubling military spending and extending the draft. As the price tag for President Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine continues to rise, reports indicate that Russia is now allocating more than a third of its budget toward defense. A government document has revealed that Moscow has doubled its 2023 defense spending target to over $100 billion, following legislation to expand the pool of those eligible for military service, including raising the maximum age for conscription from 27 to 30. Moscow, according to one Russian economics expert quoted in Newsweek, spent even higher than this. Defense spending in the first half of 2023 was 5.59 trillion rubles. $58 $58 billion, or 37.3% of a total 14.97 trillion rubles spent during that period. Detailed expenditure information for each sector of the Russian economy is no longer published, compared to the nearly 5 trillion rubles, $54 billion, it had planned to spend on defense in all of 2023. Moscow spent 12%, or 600 billion rubles, $6.25 billion, more in the first half of this year. Russia's budget deficit is around $28 billion this year, impacted in part by falling export revenues, despite a boost in industrial production from the war. The agency warned that the deficit could widen as Moscow increased defense spending in response to its invasion of Ukraine, while higher output threatened to cannibalize other sectors and dampen private investment. The Russian finance ministry has been contacted by Newsweek for comment. According to Russian economics expert Boris Grozovsky of the Wilson Center think tank, Russian military spending is skyrocketing, as reported by Newsweek. More money is being spent on the war than Reuters reported. This was due to the fact that repairing damaged cities and occupying new ones were also part of the war's overall cost. Due to the paucity of willing volunteers to fight for free, the government has to spend huge sums of money to pay the military. Grozovsky said. The Russian military complex is putting in extra hours to supply the army with the weapons and equipment it needs, which has been a driving force in the country's economic expansion. The massive salaries paid to the military by the state and private military companies also contribute to economic growth. Regional military families use these funds to settle their debts with banks, purchase vehicles, make home improvements, furnish their dwellings, and so on. According to Grozovsky, the Russian government will have to increase taxes, while large corporations will be subject to higher profits taxes, be required to co-finance private military units, and see reductions in civic spending. Russians will still be feeling the effects of Putin's war, sanctions, and troop mobilization in 2024, when he is expected to run for re-election in the country's tightly controlled political environment. All fit Russian males between the ages of 18 and 27 were previously conscripted for a year of military service. The Russian parliament has also passed a bill that would increase the fine for men who ignore their draft notice from 3,000 rubles, $60, to 30,000 rubles, $315, starting on October 1. Putin's September announcement of a partial mobilization drive to increase his forces by 300,000 prompted a massive exodus of Russian men. It has since become much more difficult to avoid military service thanks to an online conscription system that issues call-up papers. Once a conscript receives their summons, they are no longer allowed to leave the country.